When you think of mixed martial arts, you probably think of high-level fighters competing against one another to see who has the superior skills. However, before the competitors even meet in the cage, they first must take part in a public face-off to add some hype to the fight. In this episode, we'll take a look at some of the funniest and most entertaining pre-fight stare-downs in MMA history. Now without further ado, and ranked in no particular order, here are 10 of the funniest face-offs in MMA. Number 10. John Jones vs. Anthony Johnson Everybody remembers the infamous brawl that happened between John Jones and Daniel Cormier prior to their fight at UFC 178. So, when Jones was set to square off with Anthony Johnson ahead of UFC 187, the two decided to reenact the brawl and prank UFC President Dana White. During the face-off, the champion kicked off the proceedings by placing his forehead on Johnson's, which resulted in a heated skirmish. Seconds later, both Jones and Rumble revealed it was a joke, which Dana White nervously laughed off while the two fighters embraced. Unfortunately, the actual fight never materialized, as Jones was suspended and stripped of his title, with Daniel Cormier facing Anthony Johnson for the vacant light heavyweight championship instead. Number 9. Shane Young vs. Ludovic Klein Shane Young and Ludovic Klein are names you might not be very familiar with, but they took part in a bizarre stare-down ahead of their matchup on the UFC 253 prelims. During the unusual face-off, UFC President Dana White extended his hand to give Shane Young a handshake, when all of a sudden, Young broke out into a haka chant. <laughs> For those unfamiliar, haka is a posture dance in Maori culture and is normally performed by a group and not just one individual. After a few awkward moments following the chant, the stare down concluded. The icing on the cake was that Klein would finish Young with a head kick and punches in the very first round. Number 8. Cole Miller vs. Jim Allers December 18, 2015 was the day that Star Wars The Force Awakens hit theaters in the United States. It was also the day that Cole Miller and Jim Allers weighed in prior to their fight at UFC on Fox, Dos Anjos vs. Cerrone 2. Given the release of the new film, the two featherweights decided to pay homage to the Star Wars franchise with a brief lightsaber battle. After both competitors made weight for their upcoming contest, Miller approached his opponent and was handed a blue lightsaber. The two then proceeded to have a duel, with matchmaker Joe Silva smiling from ear to ear with a front row seat. After some playful back and forth fighting, both men surrendered and posed for the live audience. Ironically, their fight on the next night also ended by no contest, but due to an eye poke from Jim Allers. Number 7. Pat Berry vs. Stefan Struve Standing at 5 feet 11 inches, Pat H.D. Barry wasn't known for being a particularly tall heavyweight during his UFC tenure. Of course, this was made even more apparent when he squared off with the 7-foot-tall Dutchman Stefan the Skyscraper Struve. Back in 2011, at a UFC Live event, both fighters took their turns stepping onto the scale before their stare down for the media. Struve weighed in first and waited for Barry to do the same. However, when it was time for Barry to get off the scale, he stayed put and faced off with Struve. Surprisingly, Struve was still the taller fighter despite Barry being elevated by the scale. From there, Barry jumped off and stood right next to the Dutchman, revealing the massive height discrepancy between the two. The humorous face-off was undoubtedly the highlight of the evening and also marked the biggest height differential between two fighters. On fight night, however, the significantly shorter Barry would be submitted by Stefan Struve with a triangle armbar in the second round. Number 6. Anderson Silva vs. Chris Weidman Heading into their title bout in 2013, the All-American Chris Weidman and Anderson Silva took part in a face-off that caught many viewers by surprise. During their UFC 162 stare-down, Silva approached Weidman as the two engaged in a firm and respectful handshake. The two then proceeded to move closer to one another, so much so that their lips actually made contact. Following the awkward moment, UFC President Dana White jumped between the two, but they continued to stare each other down before parting with some words from Weidman. Yes, nice lips, nice lips. My wife don't get jealous. Unfortunately, the love affair didn't last, as Weidman would finish Silva with a second-round knockout to become the new middleweight champion. Number 5. Israel Adesanya vs. Yoel Romero UFC press conferences are often accompanied by traditional stare-downs, where nothing out of the ordinary occurs. Of course, that was not the case at the UFC 248 press conference. After an initially tense stare-down, the two were separated by Dana White as they continued to exchange words. From there, the last style bender decided to up the entertainment factor and proceeded to engage in a bit of dancing. Seemingly unimpressed by the display, Romero responded by showing off some dance moves of his own before executing a backhand handspring into the splits. Oh!
Just as Israel Adesanya seemed to be getting ready for another round of dance moves, the middleweight champion appeared to concede defeat as the two went on to shake hands. Sadly, the dance-off ended up being more interesting than the actual fight, as Adesanya would ultimately defeat Romero in a lackluster and somewhat controversial decision. Number 4. Paige Van Zandt vs. Michelle Watterson as a finalist on the hit television series Dancing with the Stars, former UFC strawweight Paige Van Zandt decided to put her dancing experience on display when she faced off against Michelle Watterson in 2016. After weighing in for their main event contest at UFC on Fox 22, Van Zandt started doing the Running Man dance, which prompted Watterson to retaliate with some moves of her own. The two went back and forth with some old-school moves, including a sprinkler from Watterson as they hyped each other up. While it's debatable as to who won their dance-off, it was Michelle Watterson who proved to have the better moves moves inside the cage, submitting Paige Van Zant with a rear naked choke in the opening round. Number 3. Mike Perry vs. Hyun Gu Lim Platinum Mike Perry is a former UFC welterweight with a colorful personality. He's also been involved in several memorable staredowns. One such instance occurred during his promotional debut back at UFC 202. Facing off with Hyun Gu Lim during their ceremonial weigh-ins, Mike Perry decided to offer his opponent a handshake. However, Mike Perry immediately pulled his hand back and began shouting at the Korean fighter. Seemingly unfazed by the bizarre antics, Lim just smiled and decided to ignore it. The fake handshake probably didn't win him many new fans, but he did give viewers something to cheer about when he finished his opponent with a first-round TKO. Number 2. Sean O'Connell vs. Everyone While Sean O'Connell is an MMA veteran with 31 fights to his name, I think it's safe to say that most fans know him for his incredibly fun and unique staredowns. During his 2015 weigh-in with Anthony Paroche, O'Connell decided to play a game of rock, paper, scissors. Since they both had fists up, O'Connell chose paper and won, celebrating with his hands in the air. When O'Connell faced off with Alir Latifi for their matchup at a UFC Fight Night event in 2016, O'Connell traded Latifi a bouquet of flowers for some candy. When he squared off with Ronnie Marks for PFL 2, O'Connell shared some deep dish pizza with his opponent. For PFL 7, O'Connell made custom shirts for himself and his opponent so they could wear each other's faces. At PFL 9, O'Connell brought a dragon pinata for his opponent to bust open with his knee. And these are just a few examples of Sean O'Connell's classic weigh-in moments. Number 1. Henry Cejudo vs. TJ Dillashaw and Dominic Cruz Henry the Messenger Cejudo is often referred to as Triple C due to winning two UFC championships as well as an Olympic gold medal. That said, he's also been dubbed the King of Cringe and has taken part in both hilarious and painfully awkward face-offs with the likes of TJ Dillashaw and Dominic Cruz. Prior to his super fight with Dillashaw, the Team Alpha Male member had embraced a snake moniker ever since Conor McGregor deemed him a snake in the grass on The Ultimate Fighter. Uh, there's a little snake in the grass right there. So, when Cejudo took to the stage to square up with his opponent, he he brought a fake life-size snake with him, slamming it onto the ground and then tossing it into the crowd. Of course, Cejudo had an equally memorable stare down with Dominic Cruz prior to their bantamweight title fight at UFC 249. During the ceremonial weigh-ins, Cejudo showed up with a bag full of prop pillows with the faces of past opponents he has defeated, along with Dominic Cruz. He then proceeded to punt the pillows off the stage, which prompted a bit of laughter from Cruz. Despite his cringy behavior outside of the cage, Cejudo was no laughing matter inside the octagon, defeating both Dillashaw and Cruz by TKO before retiring in 2020. As always, if you guys enjoyed the video, please be sure to let me know by leaving a like and subscribing to our channel. Apart from that, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.